Hello, everyone. I'm Stephen West. This is Philosophize This. We already do see the world in terms of what he calls hybrids all the time. And to illustrate what a hybrid is, he uses the example of a newspaper. But keep in mind, the same thing applies to news stories no matter where you get your news. He starts out just sitting around his house describing his experience of reading the morning paper. Oh, oh, well, on page four, he says, we got a story on the hole in the ozone layer today. Hmm. Things are not good, apparently, in the early 1990s when it comes to the ozone layer. They talk in the article about aerosol measurements. Then they go from chemistry to talking about the CEO of Monsanto being charged for crimes against the ecosphere. A few paragraphs later, it's about heads of state that are getting involved. Then it's about the meteorologists and why they don't agree with the chemists. Later on, they're talking about moratoriums and third world countries and all the rest of it. Now, this is a normal newspaper article, he says. We read these sorts of things every single day. But consider for a second what you're actually reading when you read one of these articles. He says, quote, The same article mixes together chemical reactions and political reactions. A single thread links the most esoteric sciences and the most sordid politics. The horizons, the stakes, the time frames, the actors. None of these is commensurable. Yet there they are, caught up in the same story. End quote. Then he just goes off. He starts listing news stories on the rest of the paper. He goes through page by page, lists all the stories he's going to be reading about that day. Page six, we got a story about AIDS. Page eight, there's a story about computer chips being owned by the Japanese. On page 12, he says, quote, the Pope, French bishops, Monsanto, the fallopian tubes, and Texas fundamentalists gather together in a strange cohort around a single contraceptive, end quote, an article about birth control and global religious groups. Now, here's what he's getting at. If we were to look at each element of this story individually, which is to say if we were to look at each thing under the premises of the Enlightenment, where there's a purification between the scientific issues and the political issues, each one of these things would require a different expert from a different field to be able to weigh in on them. The fallopian tubes might need a biologist to weigh in. The bishops may require a theologian. The contraceptive may require a doctor. But that's not how we actually experience reality. We never have. In practice, we read about these highly complex issues all quilted together into these hybrid articles, as he calls them. And none of this is confusing to us. In fact, it's something you're so used to doing, you do it every day in between getting dressed and having a bowl of Captain Crunch. We don't deal with isolated scientific data or isolated cultural analysis. The two are always blended together into these hybrids, as he calls them, hybrids of nature and culture. So there is no real separation between science and politics, or economy, or law, or religion, or technology for that matter. And by the way, that's a good thing. Latour gives an example at one point. When you try to separate nature and culture in an attempt to try to understand the world better, like if that's your strategy, that's like trying to understand war by getting a bunch of people and a bunch of weapons, putting them in a room, and then putting all the people on one side of the room and all the weapons on the other side of the room. No. It's not going to work. Understanding human society is understanding the relationship between human and non-human beings. 